Huntsville. Today we're going to discuss how we go about uh, sharpening or uh, dressing a diamond blade. This blade was brought back into us by a customer saying it would no longer cut. So um, this blade's glazed over, which we'll show you close up here in just a sec of uh, what it looks like glazed over and what a new blade looks like. But we're going to show you how to remove the glaze and make this blade cut like new again. Next, I want to see the difference in color between a brand new diamond blade and the one that is glazed over here. See how this one's nice and shiny. If you feel it, you can actually feel the diamond as we're with the one that's glazed over. You don't feel the diamond and you can see in the difference of color right here. So next we're going to show you how to go ahead and open that up using a 80 grit uh, rubbing stone. So we'll get going on with that next. So one of the big things I want everybody to realize, as long as you have diamond height, rim height left, you can reopen the blade and make it cut like brand new. This one has plenty of rim height, so it'll be no problem to clean this up and make it cut again. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 80 grit rubbing stone and we're gonna adjust the height of the saw to where it's just cutting through the um, height of the diamond. So in other words, we wanna lower it the saw to where it's just barely cutting through the diamond. This is just to kind of conserve on the amount of wear and tear we put on our cutting stone because we could clean up many diamond blades with this. So again, see the, where we're lining it up there to where it's just barely cutting through. And then we're going to go ahead and lock the saw into position. Next we're going to take the 80 grit stone and we're going to make about 10 cuts going through frontwards and backwards. Going through backwards is just as important as going through frontwards. You'll see that you gotta position the stone a little bit away from the guard so that you can cut through, slide it over, and then cut through backwards. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. how the actual color has changed. Now when I rub my finger across this blade, I can actually feel the diamonds open again. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up and show you the cut style. costs about eight bucks. We can sharpen the blade probably four or five times and save ourselves about fifty to hundred dollars depending on which diamond blade you're using. So you can sharpen the blade as many times as you want until the rim height is completely gone.